of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good afternoon. Afternoon. As we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for his mercy and forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Good Shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May your right hand, O Lord, encompass your family with perpetual help, so that, defended from all wickedness by the resurrection of your only begotten Son, we may make our way by means of your heavenly gifts, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. There was an attempt in Iconium, both the Gentiles and the Jews, together with their leaders, to attack and stone Paul and Barnabas. They realized it and fled to Lyconian cities of Lystra and Derbe, and to the surrounding countryside, where they continued to proclaim the good news. At Lystra there was a crippled man, lame from birth, who had never walked. He listened to Paul speaking, who looked intently at him, saw that he had the faith to be healed, and called out in a loud voice, Stand up and straighten your feet. He jumped up and began to walk about. When the crowd saw what Paul had done, they crawled out in Lyconian, The gods have come down to us in human form. They called Barnabas Zeus and Paul Hermes, because he was the chief speaker. And the priest of Zeus, whose temple was at the entrance of the city, brought oxen and garlands to the gates. For he, together with the people, intended to offer sacrifice. The apostles Barnabas and Paul tore their garments when they heard this and rushed out into the crowd, shouting, Men, why are you doing this? We are all the same nature as you, human beings. We proclaim to you good news that you should turn from these idols of the living God, who made heaven and earth and sea and all that is in them. In the past generations, he allowed all Gentiles to go in their own ways. Yet in bestowing his goodness, he did not leave himself without witness. For he gave you rains from heaven and fruitful seasons and filled you with nourishment and gladness for your hearts. Even with these words, they scarcely restrained the crowds from offering sacrifice to them. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our response is, Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. Not, Not to, to us, us, O Lord, Lord but, but to your, your name give, give the, the glory. glory. Not to us, O Lord, not to us, but to your name give glory. Because of your mercy, because of your truth, why should the pagans say, where is their God? Not, not to us, us, O Lord, but, but to your name give the glory. <clears throat> Our God is in heaven. Whatever he wills, he does. Their idols are silver and gold, the handiwork of men. Not, not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. glory. May you be blessed by the Lord, who has made heaven and earth. Heaven is the heaven of the Lord, but the earth has given to the children of men. Not, Not to us, O Lord, Lord, but to, to your, your name, name give, give the glory.
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever has my commandments and observes them is the one who loves me. Whoever loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and reveal myself to him. Judas, not the Iscariot, said to him, Master, then what happened that you will reveal yourself to us and not the world? Jesus answered and said to him, Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our dwelling with him. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words, yet the word you hear is not mine, but that of the Father who sent me. I have told you this while I am with you. The Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you everything and remind you of all that I told you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Again, we hear in sacred scripture as we continue through this Easter season, how important it is for us as Catholic Christians of anyone who seeks to follow Christ to believe in him, to have faith in him, to know him. And as I mentioned previously in the language of sacred scripture, to know means to love. In order to love someone, you must know them. And so Jesus reminds us of all of that, that we who know, who love him, will receive the reward of the promises made for each of us and to each of us, those of us who do our best to follow him. But let us take this time, even this time that we uh, have for ourselves to be more reflective and time at home and you know, time uh, in isolation, if you will, to seek to come to know him better. Do some additional reading of sacred scripture. Do some referencing of the catechism of the Catholic Church. Come to know what it is we claim to believe in as Catholic Christians better so that there will be no doubt that we do know and love him. And there will certainly be no doubt that we will certainly gain all that is promised to us who seek to do our best to be faithful and follow him. God bless you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <clears throat> may the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to love you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the offering of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross, and by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Cardinal Archbishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, Saints Peter and Paul, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, <coughs> who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. We pray with and for you now the spiritual communion prayer for those who will receive communion spiritually at this time. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to possess you within my soul. Since I am unable at this moment to receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as being already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. <clears throat> Restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ. Increase in us the fruits of this paschal sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food through Christ our Lord. Amen. As we begin another week of our masses with you in this way, again, I thank our music director, our director of music ministry, Brian Walters, for continuing this wonderful ministry, and Casey, our lector, who is with us today. The Lord be with you. 
and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us abide in peace. Thanks be to God.